Yo, what's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy, and I'm back here with another video. And today, we're back again. And the thing is, this is not, well, technically, we back again with the Nerdcore artists. But, this is not like he's rap. He's not basically doing those anime based songs. Well, you never know. But he, either way, we're here with Rustage. Virtue's Last Reward featuring Ben Sculler official music video. Now, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. When I looked at the description and such, did not say a damn thing. All I saw was his link to his Spotify, iTunes, and all that. So, don't know what to expect from here. But knowing Rustage, it don't matter. Whether it be his anime raps, or sometimes his original music either way we all know it's gonna be fire cuz with Rustage he's elevated his game up a whole lot cuz if you're a real fan of Rustage and such you can tell from when he started and such to for me personally I can like tell from when I was like watching his music and such from like from like other reactors and such and hell even listen to some of his music that's from like two three years ago on my personal time you can see he was just like elevating up but now this nigga is this nigga is on a whole different level so even you never know with this original this could probably be more better than his anime raps then again like I said with him, anything is fire. So, we about to check this out. Don't know who Ben Sculler is, but let's see how he does on this. So, like I said, we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, without further ado, let's get in the video. Oh, oh. so apparently this is from his album, Overflow. And this was track 13. And the thing is, I didn't know he, well, he's been saying it on his Instagram from when he was doing, from at the time when this was happening. Didn't know he, didn't know that he was releasing an album. But from a, when I saw Schoolface John did a reaction to it, hey. That was just to show you, you never know what could happen when it comes to real stitch. Uh, only started rapping cause somebody said I couldn't yeah. Kept on making music cause nobody said I shouldn't yeah. Never thought I'd make it but nobody said I wouldn't yeah. When you've done it long enough you get out what you put in I was never special but I had passion and put the work in All I made was garbage, I didn't need to be perfect yeah. It is kinda of freeing to know that you don't deserve it Did this for myself so I didn't need to be nervous Did this. Basically saying that a lot of times people gonna say that oh Like you ain't this you ain't that nigga as long as you got passion and you put that work in nigga Trust me and trust me like I like I said at the start of this He when he was putting his music out and such from like two years ago and such you would say Hey, it was still it was still good. Don't get it twisted but you wanted him to elevate more and more, right? Try to get more fun into it. Don't make it seem like it's much of a work based and such. Like it has to be music just for music. You wanted him to have fun in the music, right? Because a lot of times people, people be forgetting that. Yeah, you making music and all. But are you really having fun while making the music? And like I said, now, trust me. He he's having fun with his shit. For myself, so I didn't need to be hurting. Focus on the music and everything I was learning. Yeah. I was having fun with it, never needed a purpose. Uh -huh. See what I mean? This is what I was talking about. If you're having fun with your music, like, and the fact is, it he know, and the 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 fact is, is that when he stated in like a live stream he did or so when he was reacting to some of his songs was was basically he was like ranking his songs and such from last year 
He was saying that nigga. You don't, well, he didn't say nigga. Let's face. Let's say that. But he was basically saying that you don't need to sign to a label just to get noticed. So trust me. With him, he's having. He's making his music the way how he wants to make it. He's all the money he's getting and such is his. He owns all of it. He ain't got to share none of his shits. And and what's like I said, what's most important, he's having fun with it. So as long he has those three when it comes to making his music, he Gucci. He hurting, focus on the music and everything I was learning. Yeah. I was having fun with it, never needed a purpose, uh. earnest. I was just happy they could have heard it, yeah. burn it. I feel that feeling has been deserted. Uh. I'm sick of making music, sick of feeling like I'm worthless. Sick of staying up all night and stressing about my words. And now I'm sick of all the pressure that's rising up to the surface. Uh. I've been drowning in the silence of a bad dream. They all love it, but don't know a thing about me. Body running on a mix of stress and caffeine Nothing's changing, they all moving on without me I paved my way to the top, so what I don't oh, Hold up, hold up Ben Scholar, if I'm saying the last name right This course right here is definitely motivational as a mother hacker Mother Hacker, Mother MF or whatever. Bro, this is a type of song where, or this is a type of hook where it gonna motivate you to be more and such. Be like, keep on grinding and such. And just shows you the struggle, the struggles, the struggles of how people are, hell, when it, or not, not even when it comes to music, just in anything in life. Whether you're trying to build up the confidence to go to work and such, school, whatever. At the end of the day, we all struggle. But we keep on pushing just to be happy. Just to see not only people around you, like your family and such, happy. But also to see you be happy. Body running on a mix of stress and caffeine. Nothing's changing, they all moving on without me. Even listen to other music that people make I can't help comparing and driving my fucking self insane All my peers around me keep on pushing hard to innovate I'm just so exhausted but I'm trying not to feel ashamed Feel ashamed, fuck I should be happy but I cannot help to feel this way Every night it feels the same Every night I'm struggling to live up to the bother raised Every word I write I hate I don't even feel like I belong on stage Shut down the voice in my head I should just do this for me I do not know what I want I do not know what I need People keep giving me love and the, re and the thing is what I s say about this is that Rusted said like when he was like doing some type of interview with with like Internet City he says that most of the times if I could remember from it saying that shit and this thing is I, I watched it it was like an hour long something damn what was you saying? Don't get me wrong. I was I was listening throughout the entire thing. A few parts I like paused and such just to go deal with something. But I watched the whole thing. It's just I for, there was some stuff he said. Maybe we'll pop. I want. I do not know what I need. People keep giving me love and they want me to succeed. Oh, now I remember that when if anyhow like most of the times you heard like during that part where. He's saying about even though right now he should be happy and such that he's making music, he's making money, people around, people like his peers and such, his loving how and such, somehow he can't be happy about it. Like he should be happy, but he's saying that he can't because like he said he was like he had a lot of self-doubt and such. But over the years and such, let's face the facts, bro. You have elevated so much, not only in like your music career, but as a person, nigga. Like, as like I said, I was I watched like 
probably a few of the reaction he was doing to his ranking he don't give up what anybody gotta say no matter if it's his music or anything he doing it just how he wants to do it and if it makes him happy then hey that all that matters to this for me I do not know what I want I do not know what I need people keep giving me love and they want me to succeed I have no drive anymore I do not have any dreams Go. Where did the joy after making a song go? How did it get so aggressive and cutthroat? Heart is not in it, I'm stopping the blood flow Stopping the clock, stopping the journey I feel like I'm lost, stopping to think of the things I forgot I cannot be who I am with this weight on my back I will never be someone I'm not Damn, that little part there make you think Like, think about it A lot of times when people are making songs and such Like I stated what happened to the fun of making a song? You can make songs for just one make song so you can chart, but come on now. Sometimes you gotta have fun when you're making your songs. A lot of times it like you said, it be aggressive and cutthroat. Like, why you think there's distracts on people and such? Like, bro, I look, all I'm saying is this that whenever it comes to music it can be two things and this is just my opinion you can have yours in the comments let me know but these are just my two opinions when it comes to music you can either make it should always be a competition like a friendly little competition to see who can grind harder and such with the music and produce banger after banger after banger and two that at the end of the day it's all loving like all love and such cause you don't mean no bl you don't mean no harm against nobody you don't live with sh like nothing upon nobody's family friends or whatever and hey with the competition and such you might see some will collide and such collab I mean or so so I kind of agree with that little part right there about where did the fun where did all the fun go in making a song hey, it's my last reward where did the fun go? Where did the joy after making a song go? How did it get so aggressive and cutthroat? Heart is not in it, I'm stopping the blood flow Stopping the clock, stopping the journey I feel like I'm lost, stopping to think of the things I forgot I cannot be who I am with this weight on my back I will never be someone I'm not I've been drowning in the silence of a bad dream They all love it but don't know a thing about me Body running on a mix of stress and caffeine Nothing's changing, they all moving on without me I paved my way Man, Rustage Bro, why did you say that if you would have Now I remember some of it He was saying about if he would have produced some music like this And he's saying that he don't like listening to sad music Cause Bro like they were saying or so if you haven't go check out when internet city did like an interview on rustage go type it up on youtube you'll see them and he was talking about like he don't want to listen to sad music because then he's gonna be sad bro it's always okay to let your emotions out don't be afraid shit you think look what if you see me like how you see me with this camera i do not give a damn whether I cry, whether I'm mad at something, whether I bro, every the same way how I am on this camera is the same way how I am off the camera. I'm not gonna change. Who I am is what you get from me. And a lot of people who know me personally knows how I am. Friend, family, it don't matter. Like you see what this little part where it says, I will never be something, be someone that I'm not. Or I'm not exact the fuck right. I am who I not. am. I've been drowning in the silence of a bad dream. They all love it, but don't know a thing about me. 
Take us home, Ben. 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 Take us home, Hey, all I can say is, bro, man, yo, I gotta listen to that album just on my on my personal time when I get the chance to. Cause it's like this: I've reacted to two songs so far now from that album when it, even when before and now after when it's passed. The before one, which was the one with "Can't Stop," if you haven't go check out that. And now this one. And what can I say? Rustage, you are amazing, bro. Keep on doing what you're doing, and you never know. Keep on producing bangers like these. Keep on producing more originals like these. Because trust me, bro, it's okay to have emotions. Don't give a damn what anybody got to say about that. Because at the end of the day, we are human. We bleed the same way, we breathe the same air. We go it's just that we go through different lives or we have different mindsets of things. But at the end of the day, we all the same. Just in different we just live the same ways and well basically what I'm trying to say is that just live your life how you wanna live. But shout out to Rustage cause goddamn bro this was emotional, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.